Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. Yep, it's early in the first week of the second month of game time in the senseless destruction scenario in the World Tree campaign. We've finally were making some progress last episode after restarting the game a couple of times between that episode and the episode before it. And now we're ready to assault the second of the Red Necromancer castles under here. They have recruited a few troops. Not that many, though. And it might not have been that much since the last turn. So let's go ahead and save and attack somehow I suspect this is probably not going to be the last of the red castle so it would be too nice if it were okay and we're going to space our units with two empty hexes between each group so that they can't be targeted by mass effect spells. Oh. Well, this as much as we can. Maybe we should put... Maybe we should put the liches in the middle there. That looks good. Okay, so let's start. I am going to try to do this without using spells since there is no AI hero here. going to bring my black knights near the gate. Oh look! I'm going to bring my vampires close to the wall without bringing them over the wall. And hopefully next round we'll be able to bring the vampires and the whites over the wall and ready to attack. Oh, it looks like the liches were able to take out the skeletons. Just good. Okay. Alright, now we're into the next round. Just leave the Black Knights to defend. And hopefully the vampires can take these guys out. Well, almost. There's only two left. Bet the liches can finish them off. Good! Okay, we'll give him expert tactics. 
And let's see if there's any troops left to recruit. Yeah, plenty, actually. We'll build a Tomb of Souls. And we can at least hire whites. Yeah, of course, he already has a first aid tan. Check out the Mage Guild. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, this has probably been visited already. Let's see what we can build here. Hmm. Okay, we need a little more gold. Well, let's... higher troops. Just have a garrison in here. Okay. And we are bringing Tarnum up to help out. My luck's holding! I received word that new volunteers have stepped forward to battle our enemy. Yeah, in a text message in between episodes, we got, yeah, Tarnum indicated that he was trying to recruit troops in the surface world. Hopefully these fresh troops will send the necromancers running. Well, hopefully they'll show up available for recruitment at the castle. Okay, so we'll send Tarnum up here, and he can take those barbarian troops off Yogg's hands. We can give Yogg those spare goblins. And we can build the Hall of Darkness, now that he's got room for them. And once Tarnum leaves, we can have Yogg go into the Skeleton Transformer and turn those goblins into skeletons. And then since we have the upgraded building there, we'll just upgrade them to Skeleton Warriors. Okay, and then let's save before we try the Cyclops stockpile, because I suspect it's already been looted. We did, you did see a red hero there, though. Okay. And of course with the Cyclops stockpile you want to engage the Cyclops in melee as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah. 
And of course, we want to take a look at that red army that we spotted while we were advancing to the Cyclops stockpile. And see if maybe we want to take care of that enemy army first. I really don't like the way the Cyclops games are going after my people. damage there. Yeah, I might want to reload from the save just before this and go take out that red army instead. Dep especially depending on how strong it is. There goes my last ledge. So we certainly can take that out. I think we'd take basic logistics. But oh, we can probably still manage I Isra. We might want to get more reinforcements before we tackle any more red heroes though. Ah, let's just go ahead and start combat since we don't have any missile troops to protect now. Oh, well, I suppose I could have brought my units forward. Just wait for those skeletons and zombies to come forward.
Now we're just down to the zombies. Or Walking Dead. Oh, I keep wanting to call them by the name of the upgraded unit in this case. At least the zombies are, yeah, you know, Walking Dead are close enough that. Okay. That's a fairly sizable garrison there. So yeah, I I think I want to get Zubin some reinforcements. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's save before we have Tartum try this. Yeah, see. Okay, so let's load from that save. And we are not going to be trying that. But I think we'll move as if we were heading that way because I think I saw... a garrison there. Okay. Now that I know what's that way, I'm going to reload again, and I think we'll explore the rest of this area instead. Yeah, we can flag that sawmill. Okay, and let's build structures in the castles that we control on the lower level. Alright, perhaps a mage guild level 3. Don't know if Yogg can take advantage of that, but wouldn't hurt. We can get him a couple of liches and black knights. Okay, and then let's have Gundala hire some troops right after she builds another level of mage guild. And I think we will wait until she's recruited everybody she can before we move her down to bring her troops forward. And I really should have Head Chief of finish recruiting your wolf riders. That's okay, I think. Oh! The troops have finally arrived. 80 additional goblins, 40 wolf riders, 20 orcs, 10 ogres, and 5 rocks available to recruit in Strong Glen. Okay, let's get... We're probably going to bring need to bring Zubin. Actually, Clavius does not have that many troops himself. It's just that there's a crap ton of troops there. So let's bring Zubin in here.
Okay, let's take these goblins. Ah. And that's not what I want to do. I want to take them to the skeleton transformer. Then I think we'll put him into garrison. Or you know what? Really, this would be the, the best thing to build because then. These whites could become rays that would drain spell points from the enemy. Now let's recruit some of these troops that are here. Yeah, I didn't want to use up too many of too much of our gold. There. I think we might have turn and go fetch reinforcements. That castle. Okay. Oh, this is surface level. Okay. So basically, we've got Shiva there, got Gundala at one castle, Vey at the other one. And Taraxor at the Barbarian Castle. Yeah, man. Our two castles on the underground level. We've had our heroes go into garrison. I mean, Clavius isn't that threatening right now, but I suspect if he can take troops out of that garrison, he probably will. So, let's. Oh, and Clavius ran off. Okay, well, let's have Taraxor hire the rest of the troops here. And run those up to the front. And then Tarnum. Well, Tarnum will have go through the teleport in the other direction and take those troops from Taraxor. Meanwhile, we'll try to get Yogg and Zubin to gather enough reinforcements so they can help assault those garrisons. In fact, we've got one there, one there, and we know there's one down there. Maybe have one hero go after each one and close in on the last of the red controlled area. 
hopefully in the next episode. So we will see you then.